Welcome to timesguitar.com and this lesson is about the type of plectrums that you can use. Most of the beginners are concerned about and confused about which plectrum to use and what is the right thickness for them. So that's why I'm making this video and there are many thickness of plectrums available in the market that you already know and these type of plectrums you know with different thickness is meant for different type of playing style and music anyway so let us take a look at a few plectrums that I personally use so this is a very pretty old one you know it's called planet waves and and you'll find the thickness written on the plectrum itself it's written 0.76 millimeter so it's somewhat comfortable for me to strum and also play solo now let's take a look at thin plectrums this is by fender it's 0 0.50 millimeter okay so it's 0 0.50 you can take a note of the measurements and you can see that it bends you know you can bend it but there are few poor quality local plectrums available and if you bend them that will break and mostly those plectrums they give it away for free when you buy a local guitar and those are really bad and I personally don't recommend because your tone depends on the plectrum you use so those are not really good and you'll understand those plectrums are triangular in shape those have sharp edges not exactly triangular but it has got those plectrums have got sharp edges I don't have them with me otherwise I could have displayed it but generally I use this kind of plectrum mostly good plectrums are of this shape this is a very standard shape it's called teardrop shape okay see it's like a water droplet it's called teardrop shape and this is by Fender and when do you use these uh, thin plectrums while strumming so if you are doing some intense strumming like funk strumming then it's recommended that you should use a thin plectrum like Alright, so, so doing a lot of scratches and stuff, you need some flexible plectrum, so very thin, alright. And for normal strummers like beginners, as I have already shown you this thing, it's by Planet Waves, it's pretty old, I don't think it's available in the market, I, I'm not sure. See, this part is worn out. It's 0.76 millimeter. you can go for uh, a standard plectrum of thickness 0.70 to 0.9 for beginners so that you can strum and play solo also generally you don't get a good sound using a thin plectrum when you play solos like later on when you start playing so this is not a good tone compared to this is more balanced if you can hear this is a thin one for strumming so so far 0 0.50 millimeter and uh, 0 0.76 for strumming and for strumming and also picking you know playing scales and stuff and this is for intense strumming like funk style for intense strumming you cannot use a very thick plectrum you know it won't sound good and then again I've got a few more that I use personally a bit thicker you know it's one millimeter it's written 1.00 it means the same one millimeter it's also by fender you know and there's another one that i like very much is it's called gator grip jim dunlop it's very difficult to find in india but if you are located somewhere else abroad you'll be able to find it it's called gator grip by jim dunlop all right and there's a picture of a alligator and it's 0.96 millimeter and these plectrums doesn't slip easily you can see the surface so even if you sweat if your fingers sweat it doesn't slip easily compared to the plastic ones like the fender but these are also pretty good but I really like the gator grip I also use 
get a grip 0.71 millimeter so you can try out both of them like 0.71 millimeter that is violet in color and this one is blue it's 0.96 and you can use Tortex by Dunlop it's also one millimeter it's like this I hope you can see Tortex and these are mostly used like when you are uh, playing electric guitar and you are using it for soloing mostly people use thick plectrums you know to get a very good tone and there's another one by Fender it's 1.14 millimeter I sometimes use this also but for electric guitar for playing solos in electric guitar this is my favorite one of my favorite you know it's Jazz 3XL it's also by Jim Dunlop so there are few other options like Jazz 3 Jazz 3 are very small like same shape same thickness but this is XL so that's why it's bigger I have two one red and one black I really like Jazz 3 XL because it's easy for me to grip and Jazz 3 is very small so some people really prefer Jazz 3 but I prefer Jazz 3 XL so if you are using electric guitar for solos or maybe later on when you'll be capable of playing electric guitar properly you can use Jazz 3 XL that's about it these are my choice of plectrums it's my choice it's not that these are the only best possible plectrums you can get but according to me these are useful thanks for watching and do like us in facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info at tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this videos please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need see you next time bye bye